Okay. Where are you from? I'm from Israel. I was born in Paris, but I was raised in Israel. And what was your first break? My first break? Uh, a TV show in Israel called Ha'i, um, and we had three seasons of that, and it was 50 episodes a season, so it was basically 150 episodes. <laughs> what have you been in? In what have I been in? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can go to my website. <laughs> um, no, okay, I've been in uh, quite a lot of Israeli television, two Israeli horror movies, including the first Israeli horror movie, which was awesome. Uh, and since I've been in the States, I've been in three CW shows. <laughs> How do you feel about this career? I adore it. I think there's nothing better in the world. How did you decide to become an actor? I was a very unsuccessful model, and um, and uh, I went out on the runway at some point, and uh, I got this beautiful dress, and we were coached ahead of time. You kind of walk out, and you look serious, and then. I got this beautiful dress and I was very excited about it and I walked to the end of the runway and I took this giant bow and smiled and turned around and and got yelled at and then <laughs> my dad who was in the audience and used to be a director a long time ago said you might not be a very good model but <laughs> you should consider acting because you like the stage and you have you know this stage presence thing and I, I was like oh come on I never even thought about it and he just told me to take a class for him so I did and then I fell in love with it. How would you describe your specialty or type? My specialty or type? In acting? Yes. There's a squirrel. <laughs> Look! Jesus! Hi, guy. Don't poop on me. <laughs> so you can hang out. Oh. Okay. Um, sorry, I'll get distracted by squirrels. <laughs> um, my specialty or type? My specialty. Uh, I think people don't expect me to be funny, and then I end up being funny and weird. Who's your <laughs> favorite actor who you look up to? It's, uh, uh, it's really hard to pick one, because I think there are like just so many, each person has their own thing and so many different. I, I think Robin Williams is someone who I really look up to. What would your ideal job be? My ideal job, something which tackles a very dramatic subject in a, in a light-hearted way. Do you consider yourself to be lucky? Extremely lucky. Yes. <laughs> what advantages do you have? Advantages? Mm -hmm. I think I'm a fast learner and I tend to pick up many weird skills and, and and get good at them quickly. I give them up just as fast, but you know, I learned how to crochet, so I'm working on a blanket, I made some slippers, uh, I read a lot, I don't know, stuff like that. Would you rather have a car or a diploma? A diploma. <laughs> what do you think about the need for instant gratification? Uh, <laughs> hmm. I find it troublesome. <laughs> with myself. I end up with a lot of shoes. <laughs> how do you feel about how interconnected the world is becoming? Interconnected? Mm -hmm. What exactly do you mean? Well, what does the future look like to you? Bright. Future looks good. How do you feel about having children? I'd love to have children. Uh, I feel good about it. <laughs> What challenges do you feel the world is facing today? Many, but I feel like the world keeps getting better and better and we're going to end up in a very good place. What are you most grateful for? My family. What is your favorite way to communicate? Facial expressions. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite book, film, and music right now? Oh, wow. Uh, hmm. Book, I'm torn between three. So, Pillows of the Earth by Ken Follett, uh, Slaughterhouse Five by Kurt Vonnegut, and Lolita by Nabokov. Film, that's a hard one. This morning I was Googling um, to rewatch the trailer of an interview with a vampire because I haven't seen it in forever, so that's a good one. Uh, <laughs> 
but there's too many to count. Um, and music, I'm basically a metalhead. Uh, I, I was also growing up, so metal mainly.